needs to hear this word today? Who needs to hear this word? There is something that the father told you to do. He told you to do a thing, but you're concerned about the money that you have. This money is, it's not even enough for the things you have to do. You have bills to pay. You have stuff to do. You've got the enemy whispering in your ear, right? Because I was just listening to a word. And the very thing that that woman said is the very thing that the enemy has done to me many times before. You've got the enemy whispering in your ear. You've got to pay that bill. If you don't pay that bill, this is what would happen. That That's what would happen. But God is telling you, go and do it. He's telling you, go and do it. Maybe you even asked him, Father, I need you to confirm this thing. Do you really want me to do this? Do you really want me to do this? If I do this, what will happen? Ooh, girl, listen. Listen. This thing that the father is telling you to do is what will help to propel you into the purpose that he has for you. Whether you are a kingdom woman or a kingdom man, listen and listen well. You ask the father to confirm. If you ask him to confirm and you ask him for one more thing where someone is telling you to go ahead and do that thing that he has already put on your heart to do, even though you don't know where the money is going to come from for the rest of your bills, this is your confirmation in the mighty name of Jesus. This will resonate with you. It will speak to your spirit if it is for you. Hallelujah. The thoughts and the voices that you're hearing about your bills and the things that you have to do, that is the devil. He is throwing his fiery darts. He is using weapons against you. But the word of God says that the weapons formed against you shall not prosper and you shall condemn every tongue that rides in judgment against you. So speak it now. Speak it now. Walk the word out. Decree and declare the weapons formed against me shall not prosper. This discouragement from the enemy shall not prosper. This fear the enemy is trying to put within my spirit shall not prosper. This thing that he's trying to use to control me shall not prosper. I shall go forth in faith knowing that he, God is Jehovah Jireh. He's Jehovah Jireh. You don't have to question if the one who created the skies that stand above your home right now, it's possible that he could provide for you. You know it. He can provide for you. He can provide for you, even though, even though you're running out of things. God, listen, he spoke the world that you live in. He spoke the earth that you live in into existence. How, why would it be so hard for him to replenish your supply? To replenish your supply. Clearly that you are most likely in a, a wilderness season. But even in the wilderness, God says, I create rivers. He said, I do it a new thing. Do you not perceive it? Hallelujah. For he's able to create rivers in desert, in deserts. Though things are dry, he's able to provide a spring in dry places for you to be refreshed. Hallelujah. Do not doubt God's ability to provide for you. Do not wor do not think that it is impossible. It's so hard for the almighty God to go and take care of your needs. No, it is not. It is a lie. And this is some of the things that the devil tried to speak into your soul, into your heart, that if you don't do this thing with the money, then guess what? Things are not going to work out for you. That is not how God speaks. He says, behold, I have not given you a spirit of fear, but one of power, love, and a sound mind. He says in Joshua chapter one, verses one to 11, chapter one, he says many times, be courageous, be courageous. Do not fear. Be courageous. You are required to walk in courage. What is courage? Courage is when you feel that sense of, of fear, but you choose not to give into it and you choose to walk forth in the authority and in the trust and power that God gave to you. So I, I encourage you. This is for someone. This is maybe for a couple of people too. You ask God for that confirmation, whatever he told you to use that money for, Use that money for that. Do not worry about the other things that you have to do. You have many things to do. That money you have cannot take care of all those things. If you look at it, it cannot take care of all that, those things. I have been there before too. And God always shows up and shows through and he is a provider. He's trying to build your trust in him. And for this thing that you're going to do next, you're going to need to have that trust in him. So go forth, do what he told you to do, and be confident that everything is okay. He's already worked everything out concerning you. He's just waiting for you to realize it and to come into agreement with it. All right, be encouraged, y'all. I just wanted to drop this quick word for you. Take care.